Welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Kylie, just another army vet. Today I'm reacting to Russian Special Forces Battle for the Crimson Beret. This looks like a lot of fun, so let's get to it. So I'm pretty sure that these guys are the Spetsnaz, which are the guys who do the crazy training with the live fire, like over people's shoulders and stuff. Здесь человек борется не с инструкторским составом и не с квалификационной комиссией. Он борется прежде всего с самим собой. Я знаю, что получу и уеду отсюда. Берите назад. Главное. You have to have that mindset of I'm going to do it. I'm going to earn the beret. Целуешь, поднимайся. Соси волю в кулаки, ты кричишь это заветное слово. Еле-еле сдерживая слезу, хоть и мужчина, да, он не плачет, слезу. Ну все. Вы кто? Мессис! Вас не слышно, вы кто? Я не знаю, если это или два We'll see. So they're running with body armor on and over rough terrain with hills and that that sucks. Going six or seven miles with all that gear. Yeah, it's a good way to tire you out. Force 11 kilometers, so six, seven miles maybe. He's convinced he will make it. Yeah, again, you have to have that attitude that you will make it. Поставился, вот я могу, и будешь бежать, будешь, будешь бежать, и вот ноги, руки, там, голова, там, это все мелочи. It's all mind over matter. Every muscle in your body is probably crying out, but they just have to keep on pushing forward, and that's the mindset these guys have to have. And now all your gear is wet and it just adds more weight. See, these guys are exhausted. I mean, right now what we're watching does not seem like the tasks are that difficult, but I feel like this course is just all chaos from one event to the next, the next, the next with no break. And trying to run with the gas mask on, by the way, that absolutely sucks. We've never done it before. Совсем нету сил. То есть человек на, на грани потери сознания в последних пятистах, э, тристах метров. Sure очень много hurt людей не during this test. Просто I did see an ambulance and the beginning of the video actually. So I know that they're on standby, and I think that's probably one too. See, that makes sense. They have to prove that they can take care of their weapon. And then even though you're exhausted, you still have to be able to fire your weapon with accuracy. See, this is a practical test. This makes absolute sense. 
Но это сложное упражнение на самом деле. Замешкаешься хотя бы на секунду, то уже все ничего не получится. Бою. Ты. А, не на мой. Четыре альфа. Молодец. Четко. Хорошо? Да. Terrorist Hunter. That's great. See, the Spetsnaz, they are some of the most elite special forces in the world. Have you ever seen any of their videos? I mean, they are amazing. But this seems like it's a one-day or two-day event to be selected to be a Special Forces soldier. Yet, I think in Navy SEALs, their process is six months, or the India's Hair SF. I mean, it's like nine months or something. I don't know. It's, it's nuts. So it does not seem like it's a lot. I mean, yeah, it would suck doing all this, and it's a tough course, but... I feel like this is not a lot just to earn a beret though. Do these guys have more training or more selection processes? Мы стараемся создать такие условия, чтобы наши военнослужащие Imagine there must be some sort of pre-selection before they can even get to this point. Am I right? If you know, drop that in the comments because I'm curious about that. Могут продолжать выполнение служебных боевых задач. Но бывали случаи и на вот этих испытаниях. A few casualties. Военнослужащие погибали. So I imagine that yes, people get hurt, to, but if someone actually died doing this, well, I wouldn't be surprised. So as cool as this parkour stuff is, are you ever going to actually use it in combat? It's like the North Koreans doing the martial arts demonstrations, the military ones for Kim Jong-un. I mean, are you ever going to be jumping over a truck or hitting a rock in half? Is there any practicalities to that stuff? I don't know. Four rounds of three minutes each. Okay, that is, that's a lot, because at this point they're already exhausted, and this kind of hand-to-hand -hand fighting is absolutely exhausting. I mean, I've done army combatives before, and I'm certified as level one, and that stuff is absolutely exhausting when you're going one-on-one -on -one with someone. Even a one minute of it, it's absolutely just... Exhausting. So what is defined as an inappropriate reaction? That's what I want to know. So out of 70 soldiers who did this, I don't imagine more than 30 or so, 35, okay. So it's always fun getting to watch these guys. They do go through hell to earn this beret. However, it seems odd that it's a 50% success rate and it only takes a one or two day course to earn the beret. Maybe there's more to the story than just what we see on the video. If you want to help support the channel and the work that I do, you can always buy me a coffee. Link in the description box below. Until next time, why don't you check out this video right here and thanks for watching.